So here we are with an overhead view of the six count walking pattern. Uh, kept the same railroad tracks, etc., that I was just using before. I'm just going to show you guys the whole process from a different view. First things first, I'm already standing in a 50 50 natural posture, Wuji stance, whatever you like to call it. Before I hit my 70 30, I'll turn what's going to be the rear leg toes open to about 45 degree angle off my original line. I step my forward leg forward on that line without closing off any of my side to side distance. I'm trying not to end up on a balance beam even as I move forward. So I want to stay on separate railroad tracks as described before. I'm in a solid 70-30, the knees directly over the ankle, etc. I feel hanging from above. Shoulders spread and relax, sternum released and sunk, breathing into the lower abdomen. And now I can begin. One, I shift straight back to 100, rear leg. Rear leg is now full, front leg is now empty. Two, rear quad turns open, and that drives the front toes off to a 45 degree away from their original line. Let me square up the camera and try to show you guys that as best I can. 3. Forward to 100, filling the front leg, emptying the rear leg completely. 4. My front qua folds, which turns and steps me through. Front leg relaxes, takes an empty step. At any given moment, I can choose to change it if I have to because I'm still 100 in that rear leg. 5 filling the front leg all the way to 70 and then 6 front claw folds and that squares up the rest of my body completing one step 1 2 3 4 5 6 that time I let the camera track with my Dantian so you get a concept of how deep these claw folds are in order to create this type of footwork. Now I'll try to stay square. One, two, three, four, five, six. Thanks for watching.